what's the main difference from club to national team? Just different. Sometimes a different way of playing. Um, when you train with people week in week out, you get to know all sorts of their mannerisms. You know when they're going to make a tackle, when they're not going to make a tackle, when the what, do you know what I mean? When, when they're on fire, when they're not playing so well, you know, you get to know these sort of your players in and out. When you get to go away with international teams, it's harder to work them out. Obviously, it takes a little bit of time. Um, the standard of training, sometimes the style of training, should I say, is, is different. Sometimes it's more intense when you come away. Sometimes it's not quite as intense. So sometimes you wake up a bit stiff some days. Sometimes you feel like you've not done much. So um, all aspects of, of being a professional football sort of totally change, even though you're still kicking a, a round thing around and trying to put it in the back of the, the goal, you know. There's, there's so many little things that go into football these days. Um, even the slightest of bit of change can either, I like say, make you wake up that next day a little bit stiffer or, you know, make you feel like you've got a little bit more energy. So, international football, when you, when you come from your clubs, is a little bit harder to get used to. But once you've done it a few times and once you've sort of got to know your teammates, it just becomes like playing for another club. And, um, it's the way the atmosphere is these days. You know, we do say it's Club England, and the reason is because we try and make it into a feeling like you're not just coming away with 20 other strangers. You are actually coming away to a sort of your second team, if you like, and um, it does make things a lot easier. Do you have to manage your time differently? Obviously, at Everton, you train, you can go home, but with with England, you're back to a hotel, and you're kind of a bit of a siege mentality sometimes. Yeah, definitely, and it depends who, who who's in the squad with you. I've been lucky enough. Obviously, Baines has been in quite a few squads with me recently, and. As I said before, we've, we've I've played quite a, a few games, 21s previously, and obviously quite I've played with a few of the lads along the way. So it makes it easier when you, when you walk into the games room and you know you, you've got people you've known for a long time, and you know before you know it, an hour or two passes, which helps. You've got to try and find ways to, to kill your time, but it's all part and parcel of, of being international again. If, if you ask the lads, there's going to be long afternoons, but it's up to you. You either sleep or you, or you watch DVDs or you go and play golf or you you play pool or darts or or FIFA, um, you know, there's quite a few options to do, but you need to make sure that uh, you're up to scratch because competition's quite high. The squad itself, obviously, Roy's bringing through a lot of younger players. With Raheem Sterling, Zahar's had a, had a game now, and Chamberlain's come through. Is it exciting for the players to see young talent coming through? It's very exciting. It's it's not exciting on when we come to training because they need to be, <laughs> they normally seem to be quicker, sharper, and more flexible most mornings. But no, it's it's amazing. It's brilliant. Um, you know. Whether I like it or not, I'm, I'm one of the older statesmen now. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, we've not invented the time machine yet. But um, no, it's fantastic. The, the amount of confidence and the amount of ability these young lads have got, um, you know, it's really exciting. Like I say, we're all, we're all fans of, of England. Um, so, you know, when it does come to time that I'm no longer playing and I'm back to being a fan, you know, I'll, I'll look forward to seeing how these, you know, hot prospects sort of develop into what I think is going to be, you know, fantastic international players. And obviously the goal for whoever Roy picks, the goal will be to reach Brazil in the World Cup. Yeah, definitely. We've, we've had a decent enough campaign. Um, we had an OK uh, Euros last time, but like you say, the, the be all and end all is make sure we're in Brazil um, come next summer. So um, we know it's in our own hands. As long as we go out there and perform and play the way Roy, uh, the manager, sorry, wants us to play, um, you know, we're fully confident we'll be in, we'll be in there.